This day would turn around if I could just have a coffee. I'm a quitter. I like quitting bad things. I've been working on quitting something. <laughs> How's it going, you ask? Mm. In 2021 that I triggered thyroid issues, I also activated SIBO, H. pylori, and candida. At the time, I thought they were all alcohol-based pesticide bacterial overgrowth. I never really considered maybe caffeine was part of this. I've been sober since 2022. If you remember years back to when you first started trying new things like coffee, alcohol, garlic, turmeric, all these different flavoroids, for the most part, generally weren't an immediate yes for your palate. I personally never really had a taste for it, but with coffee, it's different. Why did I do this? I got a message during meditation that my health issues would be corrected if I stopped caffeine. Caffeine was not good for me. I didn't know anything about caffeine, and I went to my trusty Google and YouTube and started deep diving, and this is what I found. First of all, the number one thing that I wanna get through in this video is caffeine activates your fight or flight. Did you know this? Were you aware of this? Personally, I was not. And I think that if I was consciously aware that I was putting myself by having caffeine into, there's a tiger running towards me, holy f I don't think I would have been consuming something at such a rapid pace so often if I knew I was doing that. But I recently went to Greece. You all journeyed with me. The vlog is here. And there's a scene in that vlog where I am laying in bed in my hotel in Athens, unable to get out of the bed because my stomach is so irritated from the multiple cafe Fredo espressos that I had consumed. There was one day on the trip that I had six double shot Fredo espressos, which works out to 12 shots of espresso. I had, a, I had a problem, but I was scared. And I'm sure you are too, if you haven't quit yet. Am I gonna have migraines? Am I going to be able to function in the morning? Am I going to be brain fogged? How is it going to impact my workout? For me personally, and I don't know if you can relate to this, getting a coffee and having a hot girl walk is part of my personality. It is part of my lifestyle. I am known as the coffee girl at SWADA in Chicago. I, I am known for that. People, when they wanna meet with me, know that's where I wanna go. They schedule the meeting for there. They have made so many actual friendships from standing in line of this coffee shop. The staff are my friends. It's part of who I am. It's part of my identity. So to quit was like, but this was a no going back. This was a, no hesitation for me. I decided and then the next day put it into action. I switched my first tip, switch to decaf. I know, you're still drinking caffeine, but if you do the research, decaffeination removes 97% of the caffeine. So a typical cup of regular coffee is 95 milligrams of caffeine and a decaf cup is two milligrams. By drinking decaf coffee, you're also getting all the positive health benefits that they talk about with drinking coffee. Caffeine improves mood, stimulates brain function, protects against Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It's said that your body may process glucose better. You're less likely to develop heart failure. Johns Hopkins actually says that it helps your DNA to be stronger. The research is out. You can Google, you can look into it. This video is about my experience with it. I am now five weeks, excuse me, six weeks out. I started May 1st, today is June 10th. I'm now six weeks. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do have, this is decaf. I do have an occasional decaf. This one is a mocha and they also put, what is that called when they, the orange zest. There's orange, there's orange zest. I will say another tip that I tried was I tried drinking chocolate milk as a substitute. And I mean, I, I got weird with it. I washed one of these out. There was a few mornings where I would pour chocolate milk and I was like, we're gonna pretend. It didn't hit, it didn't slap, it didn't work. But what I also realized, and I think I knew this going into this experiment experience, going to a coffee shop, chatting with the barista at the cash register, having a lovely conversation, laughing with them, going over to my 
friend that's making a drink, socializing with them, connecting with them, and them like giving me, like me receiving that delicious gift from them that then I taste. And fun fact about me is I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink soda, I don't drink pop. I rarely drink tea. I drink water. I drink three to five of these a day. I guzzle water. Okay, sure, yeah. I could honestly slam this, but I won't. It's not that kind of video. So for me, having that different taste, different experience, I was addicted to that. It's like a milkshake for adults. It's more healthy for you than a milkshake too. So I felt like I was doing something good when in fact my lymphatic central nervous system were silently suffering. It's been six weeks. What I did to help me get here. Am I saying I'm completely caffeine free? No, I'm drinking two to three decaf lattes a week. Have I had a slip up? No, I did not cheat the entire six weeks with a regular caffeine. Did I have migraines? Yes, I would say day two and three, I really experienced migraines. Did take Excedrin migraine and I did go to bed early. Have I felt energetically different? I have, but not in the way that you think. I've experienced superhuman superpowers of being in scenarios where someone asks questions. I have a sales job currently. I can feel like I activate, like I click in to, we gotta focus. And I can get my attention so focused, like I just took a swig of caffeine, but I didn't actually have the caffeine. Does this make sense? I don't know if this makes sense. I wish for you that you take a chance, you take a plunge, you try it. Take it easy on yourself. A few times a week, switching to decaf. Personally, I wanna rip that Band-Aid off. I don't wanna tap dance because that makes it easier to fall backwards, to fall down. We want success here. This is a channel of getting to be your best self, to becoming the you that you always wanted to be. This is a community that I'm wishing to build of people that aren't afraid to step out and be different, try something untraditional, go with what's going on inside of them that's screaming, I want to do X, and execute that X, whatever that is for you. Let's recap what I did. I switched to decaf lattes for two weeks. I was getting one every day for two weeks. After two weeks, I went down to four or five a week. Sometimes I wasn't even finishing them because I wanted to get my body comfortable with not having the taste, not having the experience. I'm not gonna lie, for me the hardest part is leaving my gym, my favorite coffee shop is across the street, and not going inside. And sometimes, if there's no line, I will go inside and I'll just chit chat with them, or I'll get a tea, or I'll get something else that's low decaf. For me, it's, it was never about the caffeine, and I know so many of you struggle with needing needing the caffeine, but let me tell you, your body does not need caffeine. And after you get over the hump of not having that caffeine, your body will naturally develop systems to create those caffeine, caffeinated mental pushes that you're desiring. Have I replaced my with something else? Yeah, chocolate milk, I'm not gonna lie. I drink more chocolate milk sometimes at night now when I'm getting a taste for something sweet. And that will satisfy the sugar chocolate craving that I'm having and that cold, yummy kick that a latte would have given me months ago. Are we liking this hairdo I got going on? It's like messy hair, I don't care. I'm actually using one of my mom's old school vintage hairpins the opposite of the traditional YouTuber who's like doing hauls at Sephora with like all their hair and makeup products because sis, I'm barely using anything. If I told you what I used, if I did a get ready with me, it would be like a five minute video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to, to do it to show you. Something else that I wanted to mention, if you're on the fence about quitting coughing, you're not ready to make the plunge quite yet, may I please ask that you eat something before you drink your latte cafe, blah, 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 blah. Something that I was doing the last few months before quitting caffeine, and I know some of you will say, 
I didn't quit caffeine. You're still drinking decaf. Yes, I understand that. But the percentages are 97% less. Give a girl a break, okay? <laughs> I was keeping a protein bar in the car. I would have a bite about two, three minutes before I would park my car to go into the coffee shop. So it would be about 10 minutes, 15 minutes before for eating the protein bar and drinking the caffeine. It's just in an ideal world, you would have a full breakfast and then have the caffeine. Having it such a hard acidic product on your intestine where it's you've been fasting. I know we, we all wanna wake up and we're fasting, so we don't wanna have breakfast, so we have our latte, and then it becomes lunchtime, and maybe we have a second latte, and then we have a big lunch at three. I wanna clarify with you, I, this wasn't easy. There were many moments where I would fantasize envisioning myself going to the coffee shop to get the coffee. There were mental moments that I was wanting to give up. I think brain fog, the yawning midday of, okay, I really need caffeine. That doesn't happen to me anymore. It's not classified as a drug, but I would definitely consider caffeine as a, as a drug, as an addictive. Same as I would with sugar, same as I would with obviously alcohol and drugs, even sex, pornography. There are addictions of other types, gambling, shopping. You can be a caffeine addict. Look at yourself in the mirror right now. Are you a caffeine addict? Is it time to make a change? Is this the video that's gonna help make that change? Please let me know in the comments below if this video motivated you to make changes in your life and live a healthier and more intentional life because nothing would melt my heart more than hearing I was able to help you get motivated to be a better version of yourself in whatever capacity that is, whatever that looks like, whatever that feels like for you. This channel is for you. This community is for you. I did have quite an unhealthy relationship with coffee. Basically, I use coffee to tolerate my problems. So I'm watching a YouTuber who's explaining that she quit for 30 days and she has on a guest who's a doctor who has a book and he literally states the reason that we as a society started drinking coffee was because our jobs suck. And that makes sense for me. I envision coffee as a like way to step away from your desk and take yourself on a timeout. And coffee is the perfect excuse. And then it just becomes part of your nature, part of your habit. Is that you? So now we got a bigger issue if you hate your job so much that you're taking coffee breaks to like sustain this. So we got bigger things to work through here. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I was depressed. Sometimes I would sit and I would literally think, my day would be so much better if I could just go and get a coffee. This day would turn around if I could just have a coffee. It says as a withdrawal, but it does cause potentially depressing thoughts. And I'm sorry that that's one of them. And that might be scaring you from doing this, but I, six weeks out, don't have those anymore. So push through what you can achieve in six weeks of not having it versus drinking it and potentially harming your body for the next how many years of actually drinking it. This is a small blip, a small drop in the bucket of the work that you would need for the reward you would receive. Will I forever be sober from caffeine? Probably. Why is it that caffeine versus decaf tastes so different? I think I'm gonna make a video where I go around trying to find the best decaf coffee in Chicago because I've been on a search and the best that I've been able to find is a mocha because the chocolate obviously hides the flavor. But at that point, why am I even drinking it? It definitely has a coffee taste, not the best one. It's definitely bitter. It's like switching from milk chocolate to dark chocolate. It's a noticeable, it's noticeable. I hope this has inspired you. I hope this has motivated you. I hope you can just take 60 days and maybe make some positive changes for the inside of your body. How much water are you drinking a day? Enjoy the taste of water. Why not fix and heal the relationship with water? A lot of you despise the taste of water. Try orange, try lemon, try lime, try honey. I don't know, try anything. A lot of health and mindfulness people are saying that electrolytes and salt in their water is really helpful. Maybe we should try that next. Maybe I will. Maybe that'll be my next video. <laughs> Fun fact, I almost forgot one of the most important aspects of what happened when I quit coffee, caffeine. I lost weight. Within a week, I lost three pounds. If that isn't reason enough, ladies, come on.